Welcome to My Westies TV. Today we have Bessie and Mel's litter playing around here on the playroom floor. Let's watch them play. You see the Westies chewing on the chew toys and chewing on each other and yanking on the towels they sleep on. You realize that Westies will eat pretty much anything. Although it's technically classified as a carnivore, a meat eater, it'll eat anything, including garbage, garbage food. So it's up to you, up to us, to feed our Westies a nutritious diet and provide them with fresh, clean water at all times. And when it comes to food, what's good for one dog owner may not be good for all dog owners. You have to figure out what's best for you and for your puppy to eat. Some things you really want to avoid giving to your Westie are chocolates, especially Baker's chocolate. It can cause a whole range of problems from cardiovascular difficulties and seizures. So we don't want to give our, give our Westies any chocolate. And also we want to avoid cow hooves. These are popular chew toys. We want to avoid these kind of treats because they're dangerous. The number one cause of breaking teeth in dogs, uh, not to mention the fact that they really smell disgusting. We don't want to give them grapes and raisins. It indicates that large amounts of grapes and raisins can cause kidney failure. The kidney shutdown is so dramatic that aggressive treatment uh, may be necessary to save your dog's life. And hold the onions. Onions can be potentially toxic. In large amounts, raw cooked onions of dogs will cause toxicity, leading to the destruction of red blood cells. This causes anemia, weakness, jaundice, blood urine, and eventually death. One to six days after ingestion. Don't freak out though if your dog eats a single onion ring. Large amounts cause the disorder, but to be prudent, shun them all together. Also, rawhide. Westies love rawhide. They like to choose on just about anything. But you want to avoid the rawhide. If your Westie gets it, gets it down, it's bleach treated and preserved with who knows what. Uh, some are basted with flavors that can cause diarrhea. And if you notice this, switch to a plain rawhide treat. Or better yet, eliminate them altogether. They can break off in little chunks and get caught in the throat and in the intestines and cause all kinds of problems. So if we can avoid the raw hides altogether, it's just as well. But you gotta feed your puppy. And very young puppies need to eat three or four times a day because their rapid development of mind and body require extra fortification. So we want to feed them a high quality formula food. If they're going to go home, as you know, with ProPlan Chicken and Rice Saver. We've been feeding our Westies this for many years without incident. So in order to avoid skin allergies and other health problems, if you can, stick with this particular type of food and you and your puppy will both be happy. It's what they're used to eating. And then you can graduate them to the adult version of the chicken and rice saver pro plan food. But you want to give them a little bit, then give it to them for about 10 minutes and then pick up the unfinished food so that uh, they get used to a feeding time. Feed your Westie in a quiet place, away from all the noise and hustle and bustle of the house. 
You can also feed him in his crate, which will reinforce the crate is a safe place wherever you do decide to feed your Westie. You should get used to you being close by, accustomed to your close presence while he eats his food. And he should learn that you control his food. If he growls, you want to take his food away from him until he stops the inappropriate behavior. This is the best way to discourage food guarding. However, tempting fate by allowing children and others to hassle the dog while he's eating food? Really not a good idea. You know, it's been said we shouldn't feed our puppies or dogs table scraps. But if it's healthy for us to eat, it's healthy for them to eat. It's fine to feed them the t table scraps or food that's off the table. But I wouldn't recommend feeding them from the table or you'll get a dog that begs you while you're trying to eat. Put it in their dish, a place where they're used to eating, and go ahead and let him eat some of the foods you're eating. Some of the vegetables. They love to eat vegetables, love to eat fruit. And uh, it'll give him a little treat. Something that's not fattening. That uh, they can enjoy. And that's what we want to do. We want to keep our Westies happy. So if they can eat what we eat, how much better. And remember, when they're playing outside, you want to keep them in a secure area or have them on a secure leash. We don't want our puppies running away. Make sure they have their tags hanging around their collar, the one that has your phone number, name and address, and also their avid ship tag on there so they can be identified if they ever got lost. And if you have a cell phone, take a picture of your Westie just before you take it for a walk so you have something to show people to identify your dog in case it comes up missing. I want to thank everyone for watching. We really enjoy doing this. Helping people to see how their puppies grow week after week. Puppies went to the vet yesterday and they'll be getting their shots and getting their microchips here coming next week. So we'll put a link up in the corner, the right hand corner of the screen, to the last video we posted about the puppies getting their shots and their microchips. So you can watch to see how that's done if you so desire. If you're squeamish, maybe not so much. Again, we want to thank you so much for watching Westies TV. Remember to train your Westie and don't let your Westie train you and you'll both be happy. Everyone have an awesome weekend.